Hey everybody, welcome back for round two of the Tournament of Shame in Super Mega Baseball 2. I am here, Ronkly Smile, with Dan G. How's it going? Nick, it's been a while since just you and I have been sitting in a, in, a, in a cushy Discord room all to ourselves. Cushy marble room. Yeah. <laughs> What's been going on? You know, a little of this, a little of that. How are you? Good, good. Uh, you got any trips planned? Uh, no, the reverse, actually. Uh, Lynn's coming to me uh, this no, time. Interesting choice of words. Um, but let, you what wanna... do you mean? Oh, <laughs> no, Dan. Uh, you you teed yourself. <laughs> you ready? All right, ready up? Ready up? Let's play baseball. So I've got a little <laughs> little bone to pick, not with you, but can you tell me uh, what happened in your – or just tell me the outcome of your last game? Uh, I got absolutely destroyed by Ryan. He, he shut me out 15 nothing. <laughs> Okay, so when you told me that, my reaction was general hatred towards Ryan. Like well, that's, that's, well, he's just doing his thing. Do you have a preference here on uh, Arena? No, no, we're good. I mean, that, yeah, yeah, because there's like, hey, look, you know, you can win, but you don't have to do that to someone. And so, I, like, my whole goal of this tournament isn't to win it; it's to yeah. to beat Ryan. You know, well, you, someone has enough. to teach. Someone has to teach him. That's that's BM. You know. It well. It, <laughs> As it went down in the actual game, it was good natured. I mean, looking back on it, it's hard to see it as anything but <laughs> BM. But like, it wasn't actually when it happened. Well, let me say, if we're playing goofball goals for the first time and say you, yeah. you know, you've got like a couple hours in and I'm new, I guess you'd probably win like three or four nothing, and then kind of take your foot off the gas a little bit. Yeah, probably. It's hard to say with that game though, because like you can't really control it very well. <laughs> Stuff just happens. <laughs> Did you see that post on the Reddit of? Like the the players playing soccer with VR helmets on. I haven't seen that one. I've seen the German. Uh, they do teams of cars with a giant <laughs> soccer ball. I get linked that a lot when they're talking about goofball. But what's yours about VR th sets? It, well, someone posted it on the Reddit. On like uh, the the Northern Lion or the Circle Jerk Reddit. It was like it had the soccer team with vr headsets on and it looked like they were playing goofball goals but in real life it's mm. it's really kind of bizarre but i thought you might have seen it because you know goofball goals were they all wobbly kind of yeah like they didn't know where the ball was or anything it was it was right. kind of crazy um but that sounds cool i'd play some vr goofballs oh, uh get back boys get back boys did you ever play baseball as a kid neck i did actually yeah you I play played in like little league and then I played a little in high school. Really? Uh, we weren't a very good team or anything, but I did I did enjoy it. It was the one sport that I did play. Wait, you were on your high school baseball team? It was like the off league though. It wasn't like we weren't like the varsity baseball team. It was just some shitty thing we did. Yeah, what position did you play? Uh, I played third base and a little bit of left field. You just stole a base. <laughs> Yo, third – if you're playing third base, like, that's the one position in baseball. Oh, nice pitch. I'm, like, remotely afraid of because you're the closest to the ball. Oh, you get those straight shots right <laughs> yeah, at you sometimes. Yeah, yeah those are a little terrifying. <laughs> but that's a position you played. A little bit, yeah. Do you think uh, if you dusted off the old – what do they call it? Not pigskin. Oh, that run didn't count. What do they call the mitts, though? Not bad. Oh. Um, you think you could like? Uh, is it like riding a bike for you? I doubt it. What do you I'm mean? I'm incredibly out of shape right now. I don't think I could do much. No, but let's say like the next packs, like we all, some of us brought our mitts and a glove. You think you could throw the old leather ball around? The old leather ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good catch. Thanks, thanks. I mean, yeah, you... I wouldn't mind it. I don't have a glove anymore, but that'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see you pitching, too. I don't know why. No, no, no. That was never my thing. Oh. They never even tried me at pitching. Well, you got, like, long levers, you know? Uh, yeah, my accuracy is not that great. <laughs> um, So, I didn't, we didn't really elaborate on the inappropriate joke, but so Lynn's <laughs> coming to New York. Yes, yeah, I'm picking her up tomorrow, actually. Oh, are you fired up? Yeah, of course. How it's been a while, huh? It has. Well, last time I saw her was uh, I was in at her place in uh, end of December, early January. That's right. And you, I remember you tweeted something like, "Hey, am I being the annoying guy that tweets about Ireland too much?" I'm like, "No, yeah. you're not." You know. But well, I worry sometimes because you never know what people are thinking on Twitter. Like they just see the same stuff over and over again. 
Yeah, no. And I bring it up from time to time. Apparently, I, I mentioned that she was my girlfriend too much. That was the thing I took away from it. What? But I was saying that on, on the NLSS. I was telling people all the time because they didn't know who Lynn was. Oh. So I thought it made more sense to contextualize it and say that she's my girlfriend for that reason. Yeah, you got to give them, like, you know, if you don't say something, people are going to be like, who's Lynn, who's Lynn, who's Lynn, who's exactly. Lynn in chat? Um, anyway, I don't really do that anymore, but that, that's the one thing I took away. So how do you become a dual citizen? Uh, well, I can't really. Why? Potentially. I mean, there's a, there was a thing that you could do where if you had genealogy that ran to Ireland, if it was your grandparent, you were able to move there and get dual citizenship. Wow, I struck you out. <laughs> um, and now it's your great grandparent. And then, well, the other options are you get sponsored by a job or you go for uh, like a college work program or obviously you get married. Mm. Uh, but you know without going into too much depth uh the options are not as easy as you would imagine uh, i've been down the road with uh sponsoring someone here because my ex was actually sponsored by me and it was uh like three years of constant work and paperwork and travel to figure this stuff out what do you mean you I sponsored her like you. like what did you uh, she she wasn't uh in the united states legally her parents abandoned her in the u.s mm -hmm. But when she turned 18, she needed a sponsor. And when we got married, I sponsored her so she could get her citizenship. Oh. So you have to, like, when you said sponsor, I was thinking, like, job. No, that is also an avenue if I was, you know, a corporation hiring. Mm. Uh, but you have to hire Americans first before you're allowed to uh, take from anywhere else. Let me ask this. What if Lynn started, like, I mean, for lack of a better term, a shell company that hired you? <laughs> I mean. Uh, nah. No, I mean, but but maybe like she wanted you to do like a thousand Indian impression videos. Like you're probably the only person that would be able to do that. Yeah, theoretically, that's true. Uh, but I'm probably not going to do that. Oh, I mean, like, I'm not saying to do anything illegal, but I'm just thinking if there's like a yeah. legal loophole, would you consider moving there? Yeah, I would consider it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's an easy pop up for you. Where's it going? Oh. oh, it's a little out of range. <laughs> <laughs> We're, you got runners on first and second. Okay, this is a pretty important bat here. Hold on here. Yeah, I was getting a little carried away with the banter. I wasn't really paying super <laughs> close attention. Me neither. I'm like, oh, crap. Nick's going to get one here. Ooh. Oh, that was, low. that was super low. Do you still like, uh, did you ever have an affinity oh, for baseball? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was a little into it. I never, like, watched it or was super competitive, but I enjoyed playing when we played. Well, could you could you get some connections? Could you could you rip the ball a little bit? You know, it felt great when you would get that perfect <laughs> shot, when it would just <laughs> ting right off the, the sweet spot on the bat. Yeah. And that was always the pursuit, was to try and nail that. Yeah. Um, I never got, like, a home run or anything. I wish I did, but, you know, I've gotten a few hits at least. Yeah, because, like, if you, if you hit it in the right spot, you don't even have to swing hard. You yeah, know? it just feels perfect. It just <laughs> goes. <laughs> but that, that doesn't happen that often. Not that often, yeah. no. No, your pitcher is dialed in right now. I got to dial. Did so, you hear about horses, Dan? About how they'll remember if you smile at them? What? Yeah, apparently horses, they do this thing where they'll remember the last way that you looked at them. So if you frown at a horse, they're going to react differently than if you smile. Is Isn't this, that awesome? Is this true or is this not true? This is, as far as I know, true, but it could be not true if it is uh, shitty news. <laughs> I mean, I would. I feel like horses are smarter than we let on. Yeah, for sure. They can count. <laughs> well, some of them can anyway. Are you being serious? They'll do that thing where they tap their their hoof on the ground and they'll like scratch for how many they're counting. Really? Yeah. Never seen that. No. How do you know so much about horses? I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of happened over the years. That shouldn't have oh. been what I needed, but it was. Okay. I'm like, I'm learning a lot. Like, we've done, this is, what, our 11th tournament? I've learned that you're a former baseball player and you love horses. I wouldn't say I love them. I just, <laughs> you know, you find stuff out about animals after a while. You just live in the world, observing media. What's, uh... What do you say is the most visited website you go to? Mm, probably Twitter. What about like non-social media site? Uh, 
YouTube. <laughs> I know I'm not giving you what you're no, asking. No, no. Um, and it read it uh, after that. Maybe the Escapist. I, I always watch Zero Punctuation. What's the Escapist? It's a it's a like an online webzine kind of place. Uh, it has game coverage. Oh, okay. Uh, but Zero Punctuation. It's uh, this guy Yahtzee. He does really fast paced uh, game reviews with these little cartoons that he makes up. I've been watching them for like five years or more now. I don't even know how long, but they're very funny. When you say like cartoons, are they like Microsoft Paint cartoons, or are they like actual? Yeah, they're they're actually super like low about like uh, low production value uh -huh. cartoons. So a little bit like MS Paint kind of stuff. <laughs> it uh, gives them charm. What's uh What's been going on with your three um, D texturing and modeling? I haven't seen any guns lately. I have not done much with that at all, to be uh, honest. I saw. I was uh, looking forward to it because you were getting pretty good at it. Yeah, it's a good time. I mean, it's very therapeutic. And once you get good at it, I think you can make a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I just didn't keep up with it. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Weird <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> You're swinging too much. You got to <laughs> chill out a little bit. You're going to be fine. All right. I mean, we've got a 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, okay. oh, that was uh, a good pitch. I will pitch. take this 100 times out of 100 over the 15-0 shutout. <laughs> the shellacking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I must Easy have got pop, underneath that. Pop. Where, oh, it's over there. Oh. Okay, got it. That was the fastest half inning of my life. All right. We got to get some runs batted in, man. <laughs> Let's do this. They're getting a defensive battle. They didn't uh, bloop in, bloop oh, in. Oh, no, you're just going to catch that, huh? I hope so. Okay, he got it. Nice work. All right. I mean, we're get, we're get well. You're connecting the ball, you know, more than I am. It's yeah. just. Oh. Scooped it. All right. Woo! I finally got a, a feel for the throwing. Uh, do you know my pitcher's name, by the way? Wes Yogurt. <laughs> yes, it's so That's good. That's a great name. <laughs> that is a classic pitcher name. <laughs> He's a yogurt thrower. <laughs> no. Oh. All right. Okay. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try. Come on. You know, I probably should no. have taken that. No. But I think that's out. No. Yeah. Nice shot. Did I've you... virtually done what I could never do in real life. <laughs> Did you power hit that? No. Nope. Wow. <laughs> It just landed right. Wow. Wish I had some people on bases at the moment, but you never know. Maybe I'll get another one. Was that a two-out homer? Oh, it was a two-out homer. All right. Wait, is this the fifth inning? Uh, Fourth. Okay. And I'm the away we're the team. We're at the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. Uh, super close oh! oh he double-bobbled. Can we get a triple bobble? <laughs> All right. Yo, that was a clutch hit. All right, let's go, boys. Come on, yogurt. Give him a, give him a little. Give me a yogurt throw. There, there it is. Oh. That was legit. I should have swung on that. Shouldn't have swung on that, though. <laughs> oh, I almost missed the base. All right, this is it. If I don't score here, it's over, Nick. So, Dan, what about you? Did you play baseball? <laughs> I did. You know, I I really – so they, where I grew up, there was – um, like I grew up in a really kind of like uh, – I call it a city kind of, but uh -huh. but where you could kind of touch the house next to you. But anyways, there were neighborhood parks, and there were probably like three in the city I grew up in. And they had these like expansive – like super casual baseball leagues right so like all the kids drop it oh so all the kids would ride their bikes up to the park in the summer and there'd be like 10 teams going at once and it was like you know we wear t-shirts and stuff but it was run by the the city and so like that's like my fondest memories of like wow. oh 10 teams though yeah space for 10 teams yeah there were like four um well there'd be like games at 9 and 11 but nice. anyways I used to be able to crush the ball, and then one summer, um, I started playing golf, and just it crushed my my swing. So I went from like being able to crush the ball to like whiffing every single oh. at bat. It was like really like traumatizing, 
<laughs> but uh i mean traumatizing in like a third grade sense of the word but hold on i gotta right. dial here but then you got into golf though right no because the golf is boring or at least was to me <laughs> so fair enough so i lost oh that's ball Ooh, game baby all right did you just bm me we can't be mad about that though that was pretty close I mean, I'm a little mad. I, I, I mean, I kind of, after I saw you get shellacked by Ryan, I'm like, oh, this will be an easy win. Mm. <laughs> well, good game, Dan. Yeah, no, it was a good game, man. Good game. I, I wish you luck in the rest of the tournament. It was good to Likewise. catch up and chat for a minute, you know? And we've got also uh, Ryan versus Rob and Mal versus Bear are the other matchups on this second round of our Tournament of Shame. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And make sure you leave a like on the video if you haven't, regardless of who you're watching. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you on the next round. And again, I wish you good luck, Dan. See thanks you, guys. See ya.